guess who's back? Yes, I am. I actually have to go pick up my prescription. And I figured, well, since I have to do it, why not do a good old car vlog? Because you know me. I'm a diehard. Um, I haven't been chatting in the Discord. And I don't know, like a whole, since yesterday, maybe morning time, maybe, or the night before. Um, my, my hands are not working well. So it's hard to scroll in the phone and um, it's hard to type. And then sometimes when I do the talk to text, it doesn't come out right. So then I want to adjust. It's just, it is what it is. It honestly is what it is, but onward, forward we go. Nothing stops us. Um, the doctor wants to try out a different medication with me also. Um, I'm getting a lot of these. I don't know. Yeah, you can see them. I'm getting a lot of these spots again. All over. So, I'm going to go pick up that. And, uh, you know, I've got too many thoughts on my head and I know they're not my family they're not my priority you know what I mean but when you see somebody getting taken advantage of you kind of speak out you know um, is it getting sickening yeah it's to that point it's getting sickening it, it's beyond sickening to be honest with you um, just to think that you know a 54 year old woman would act the way she's acting and uh, that being Sally's house also there was a comment by um, Sean um, yeah I was disappointed in myself too for yelling and cursing but there's that frustration there when you want to explain something to somebody and her keep saying it's not available when there's somebody nearby that lives near her that it is available isn't that weird she doesn't she doesn't listen she doesn't want to listen because her way is just always the right way when you have a woman who's very unhappy that pays the bills that pays the mortgage and what I would suggest, and Sally, if you ever need these video clips, I've got them, of Jerry saying, no, we do not pay rent. We do not pay mortgage. We pay electricity and food. Well, in order to qualify for some of these programs, you would have had to have said that you paid rent. You have not said that. So I would suggest your mother-in-law wants to move. I would suggest you do that. You just give the woman what she wants. You think people have changed her mind. It's not the way it was. She has wanted out. The dog has pushed her out even further. Like, no. I'm not going to yell or anything like that. I know if someone was so adamant to get me out of a place that I was living, I'd be like, adios. Gotta go. I'm not going to stay somewhere where I'm not wanted, so to say. And it, it really bothers me that she's being railroaded and that you had to bring up the sob story of... <clears throat> Well, this is the house that I love. The other house I love, I lost it. You know, get all sad. You know how many times people move? You, like, you act like, okay, Jerry, you know, you put in there that you are sick, which you are with stage four cancer. And you're in your fourth year of your stage four cancer. And you still had that craft room full of stuff. Are you leaving this all behind and then they have to pick up your mess too? 
It's just very inconsiderate. You know, and how many thousands of dollars do you owe your mother-in-law? How many thousands of dollars? I can't even begin to imagine or fathom. I have to clear my throat. Sorry. I am not one that likes to cough or sneeze on a video. Um, you had said, no, you said that I, or the haters, have messed with your revenue when you have said that if you make too much money and one month you don't and then one month you do, it ruins your SSI. I have that clip, Jerry. It's not spliced. It's got the transcript. It's got everything coming out of your mouth. So don't turn around and blame it on me. Because you still could have been vlogging daily. What happened when you were vlogging daily? More lies were coming out, most definitely. But you yourself said, even with Jim, if he makes over 950 something a month, it would mess with your revenue. You know, when you, you think of Jim getting SSI, you need to go look up. Jim is not going to get the same amount you are. I've said it before. I don't think you've done your research like you think you've done your research. I don't. I'm sorry. But, you know, I think even, like, you want your mother-in-law to just move and, like, let you continue to make the mortgage payments. You probably wouldn't even have $100 left over a month. To, after you pay, made the mortgage payment. There's no way you can make the mortgage payment. No way. So you need to let that one go. You need to not give someone a hard time. It's always Diane. Diane. I've given you like a lot of great things. A lot of great tips. Ways to save money. I just don't understand. I really don't. And, you know, when Mona was talking and Joni, she was being so nice and letting you speak and everything. You over-talked a lot. And we know, we know our girl Joni could talk at times, okay? Don't get me wrong. And she will apologize. Hey, I'm sorry. And, uh, but you did. You tried to over-talk. And I think you knew how to upset me. And I think you did it purposely. So I looked like that butthole. But that's okay. Because you know what? Those subscribers in your chat, more than half of them are fake. Do you realize that? More than half of them just want to sit there and go back and forth and banter. Oh, yeah, they're the mean girls. Oh, yeah, this and that. Well, you know what? They should have your mother's in-law's best interest at heart. Especially when you would qualify for so many things. And you also say it on last week's live. You don't have a caseworker? You have stage 4 cancer and you don't have a caseworker? Really? Come on, Jerry. Stage four cancer patients get caseworkers. They get social workers. They get whatever they'd like to help them to make decisions to take care of themselves. You know, and it was not long ago where you said you did not want Jim working. You think I don't have those? There's more than one, honey. There's at least four that I have. No, you do not want Jim working at this time. Well, I think you think because he's going to get maybe $998 or $1,000 like you. If he doesn't qualify for SSDI with his work credits, I don't know. I don't think he would get, with SSI, I don't think you two would make very much a month to survive unless you, you know, did what people are suggesting. Find your little apartment, you know, get on your Section 8 or HUD, or, as you said, um, on income-based housing where you pay the rent, that it goes by your income. 
but you need to think about the actions you've done because I don't see how you qualified for food stamps without paying rent because that would leave your whole SSI check for food. So I'm just questioning a lot of things and these are the things that you put out there, not Jim, you. You yourself. I mean, if you're not going to use your scooter and the battery's dead, why not sell that? Just say, doctor wants you walking. Doctor, doctors never prescribed you a motorized scooter. Why did the doctors never or prescribe you that? Because you don't need it. If you needed it, they would have prescribed that and one would have been given to you. You know that. You know that. And many, many people that watch know that as well. Whether people that hate me or anything say, oh, no, that's not true. It's true. It's true. It's real true. Um, you've got a clip where you said your back is healed. The, the tumors grew into bone, calcified. The doctor lifted your um, restriction. Basically, it was something like you couldn't bend or pick up at the same time or something. Didn't have to do about walking. You were free to do that. I don't know if any of your subscribers genuinely worry about your health, but not moving, it's, it's not good for your heart. You know, you can get congestive heart failure. That's worrisome too, you know. Um, Jim mentioned that his heart was in good condition, which is fantastic, fantastic. He did say something about his calves being sore, you know, and not to sound like a total idiot, he was on a treadmill, I believe, and he doesn't walk that far, that long of a distance, so I bet his little calves hurt from walking on that treadmill. Look at, why don't you look at a picture, you know, look at a picture of your husband three or four years ago. And look at him today. Look at you. You really haven't changed that much. You really haven't. Thank God you, you still look like Jerry Ann. I mean, if you go back, I mean, in the beginning when you first found out about your your diagnosis and you needed to go into a, um, a scanning machine, we'll call it, MRIs, you, uh, you did drop weight. I think you were worried that you were not going to fit in the machine, but you did, and I'm happy you did. I wish I lived closer. I really do. I really do. Because I would be that person, whether you'd like it or not, I would help you. I would. It wouldn't be, oh, yeah, Jerry, yeah, here, here's this, here's that, here's that. No. Jerry, let's do it together. Let's me and you get up and walk to the kitchen. You know, let's me and you do things together. I hear you screaming at the TV right now. I really do. You say you don't watch me, but you do. You do. It's just not a healthy situation. The, um, it's, it's just not a healthy situation. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. But you've put it out there. You know, you shared with us you know, your journey. And you'd, you'd said you did so much work. You were vomiting. You know, you didn't want to put that out there. Well, I mean you've shown us your rare your bare butt. You've showed us your, your back wounds that were tunneling. You've showed us a lot of things that we shouldn't have seen. And you didn't say, oh, I worked this hard that, oh, I was sick to my stomach. I mean, I'm sorry that you worked that hard that you were sick to your stomach. That That's not good. I, I, I've i never vomited from um, working hard. You know what I'm saying? So, 
I'm sorry that affected you that way. You know, and Jim gets mad at me, yet he used to join the lives. You know, he tried to say you stormed out the door that one time. I still don't believe you stormed out the door and left your phone and watch, but yet he was trying to find you. I kind of think that was a little staged. I kind of think you do a lot of these things to get views or to make people look mean. I'm going to get a, a medium coffee here because I'm going to get a large at home. As you can tell, I need a little boost me up. even hurt to turn the wheel, okay? Oh, I'm turning on my blinker to turn into the drive through Oh, Kimmy, did your Duncan open up? Let me know. I'm so excited for you. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> um, this is a shirt that Tasha had got. I'd gotten Tasha. She didn't like the way it fit. You know what? I don't either. So it's getting washed and then put away. What can I get for you today? Hi, can I please get a large cold brew with the shots of vanilla, Splenda, and cream? Anything else? No, that's it. Alrighty, it's going to be four seventy four today. Thank you. I'm going to use my app. Sorry. Stop. The woman there was just so excited about the color of my car and such. So it took a moment. Not that you know, right? So, um... Another thing that I was going to ask, too, you know, Jim can make up to $900 a month before, it's over a little over $900, I can't remember the exact amount she said, so I'll just say $900, and um, Jerry still hasn't posted the shop with me, which Jim could have put that for revenue, ad revenue, and Jim could have did his cook with me video add revenue you know what I mean if if they wanted to make revenue they could um, and I don't see anybody really being negative towards Jim really only just about the situation with his mother-in-law well his mother and wanting him to work so and trust me I know pain I really do. I know pain. I know that if I had to work, I'd have to work. Right now, it, it wouldn't matter. Do I have, you know, the luxury or did I have the luxury of working from home? I did. I did. But it took education. It takes being able to, if you even want to work like a customer service job or anything like that, it just takes you being able to keep your calm, cool, collective, use a nice tone and a voice, and you could find work at home jobs, work at home remotely. A lot of people are doing away with the offices. I didn't taste this before I left, oh goodness, I should have. And it's not good. It is not good at all my fault for not checking but don't think I have to go right back by there there is no vanilla and there's no Splenda there's one of one of something's not in here we'll be going back I'm thankful it's you know it's just right on the other side of the road um so, anyways, guys, I do, I was going to post a, an Aldi's that I did have, and now that it's Wednesday, now the new stuff came out, so I don't know if I'll post that. Um, you know, there might be some people that want to see it still. That's, that's, you know, really up to you. I have been wanting to get to the comments. I'm able to approve them. I need to be able to go and heart them and then, you know, talk to everybody. You know, I I know like Amy's commenting, Cozy, uh, Debbie Savings, 
Rachel comments. You know, a lot of people comment. I do read them and I do approve them. Um, I haven't gone back through and that's me. That's on me and I'm sorry. And at one time I was going to ask Tasha, you know what I mean? If you could go and, you know, write a few things and stuff, but she's got such a busy life. I can't do that to her, you know, with her working and the three kids and, uh, Amelia went to school today again. Everly's been going through, she's got to, Tasha said, they said the terrible twos. She was, what about the treacherous threes? Well, she's not three yet, but wow, she is, I don't know if she's trying to find her own little personality or I don't know if it's because like sister's back in school, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, she's been a little wild one and you know, like Tasha said, she's got to learn that, um, like when she throws those fits, Tasha doesn't let her have tablet time. And then she throws a fit because she can't have tablet time. So, you know, they get two different times a day, a half hour session where they get like tablet time, quiet time. And, you know, Tasha said, Ma, I told her today, you cannot have your tablet. You're going to have to sit on the couch for your quiet time and watch the TV. She said that she threw a fit. And I was like, oh, not Everly. You know what I mean? Like, Everly, yeah, she throws a little fit. Or she said she threw a fit for like a half hour. I'm like, wow. I go, what did you do? She goes, ignored her. As hard as it was, I kept doing the dishes and I ignored her. I said, you did absolutely the right thing. I'm up to the window next, I think. Yeah. Okay, give me a second. All right. Um, so the one medication, it's only a partial, re partial fill. So when the other come, they didn't have enough to fill for 30 days. So it's a five day supply. So I have to come back when they get it and they'll send me a text message. So now I'm going to go back by that dunk. And I think it's just missing the Splenda to be honest, because when it's missing both the vanilla and the Splenda, you guys have seen the face I make. So it's not that horrific. It's just missing the Splenda. So. I don't know. Maybe I should get out walking and just ask him for Splendid rather than taking. If there's if there's a couple cars in the drive through I'm not going to bother him with that. I'll walk in and just let him know. To, and then just add the Splendid. If that works, then so be it. Think it out loud. So, is a form of ADHD a way of thinking out loud and your brain always thinking? Because my, my brain, my brain does not turn off. It, like I'm thinking about a lot of things at once. So, because I believe that's the type of ADHD that Jerry says she has. And I think Jim's is like a physical ADHD maybe, I think. I could be wrong. The best to explain that would be the Hensons. There's no one through the drive-thru. Let me go ahead and do this real quick. What can I get for you today? Hi, I just came through the drive-thru and I ordered a cold brew with the shots of vanilla Splenda and cream. I don't yeah. think I don't think it has a Splenda in it. Is it okay to get some? There's, yeah, you can pull it around. Yeah, I can give you some packets. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, there is one car. I, I didn't see it. So, um, yeah, it hurts right now to walk. I'm not gonna lie, but I do it. And um, I think I'm going to go to Walmart even to pick up some cat treats for my cat. So uh, it's cheaper there than, you know what I mean, going to like Dollar General or so I think I'll do that. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. No, I think I will. Oh, and I think they need catnip too because I have three cats. So when I put catnip on the kitchen floor, that's that's another thing with the catnip. I'll put it on the kitchen floor and let them, you know, get in that because that's where it's like the laminate floor, you know? And um, it's quite a bit of catnip for three cats. So, and I think there's only like that much left at the bottom of the, the jar. So let me just grab this splendid. I'm gonna pull over there to make sure.
Hold on. All right, so I just want to make sure this is what it's missing. I'm not going nowhere because I mean, it, when you get a cold brew, it's almost five dollars for the coffee. So now, normally I can rip four open at a time. Not right now. I can only rip, rip, rip open two. And I have this, right? I used to put all my my um, garbage in it, but now it's all my like change from when I'm shopping and such. So I don't have anywhere to throw papers right now. Is there a trash can behind me? I can't see. I don't like having papers and receipts or anything in my car. My girl Kim, Kim A. I can't get my cover back on. I just asked if you got your Duncan in your area, sunshine. Her and I do not text that much at all. But when we do, it's just, it's awesome. You know what I mean? It's like once a month maybe or once every couple months. You know, it's not that neediness of having to text and talk to somebody every single day. That was it. They just forgot this blender. Happy days are here again. All right. I had originally brought my Diet Pepsi. I've had that for like three days. And I'm not much of a soda drinker, but I, uh, last night I didn't make coffee and, uh, I didn't have it this morning. Hold on. I'm going to see what she has to say. All right. So let's go. People there probably thought, what is she doing sitting there? But. I love having that mirror, that the camera in my mirror, because I'll tell you what, I can't really turn my head real well to back up. I have to literally turn my whole body, and right now I can't turn my whole body. <laughs> oh. So I don't know if I had told anybody or mentioned it, but um, you know how I take gabapentin well, I've been up to where I'm taking 600 milligrams three times a day to help with the pain. And because uh, of the flare-up, um, I'd spoken with my doctor and mentioned about going up to 700 milligrams uh, three times a day. Sorry, I'm watching the traffic. Anyways, and I said, well, you know, it kind of makes my mind confused. Um, before I was on a much higher dose, and did it help? It absolutely helps so much more, the higher dose. Thank you. I don't know why I whispered thank you. And um, the higher dose helped out so much more, but it just confused my mind too much. So... See, and then it would be because they come in 300 milligram like capsules. I was like, Well, how would I do that, anyways? They come in 100 milligram capsules as well, so I would have two different bottles. No, I don't want to do that. I don't, no, I'll stick with the, the 600. Um, it's just two capsules by mouth three times a day, so I think I am gonna just walk into Walmart and get them the cat treats and the um, what do you call it? We call it their cat weed. <laughs> their catnip. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, when I first put it down, they go cuckoo for it, you know? And then I do it at night and, and then what happens is I can't fall asleep knowing that I left that on the floor. 
So I have to wait a couple hours and go vacuum it. I have a little uh, shark vac. They're on sale at Walmart for like $49. I'm thinking about picking up three for Christmas presents for my two nieces and for my sister because they loved it when they used mine and they seen mine and they played with it. Oh, look at that. It vacuums in. You know what I mean? So I don't know how to hint around to them like, did you ever get one or I'm sure I can come up with a way. So anyways, I guess that's my spiel today. And I would just be, you know, again, I'm going to state it. Be careful because if you claim to food stamps that you're paying rent and you're not paying rent, I'm just saying, be careful. I mean, these are things you put out there and I mean, your social security, right, must know that you have YouTube or your, what do you call it, DHSS or whatever it is. I think that's what you call it. I'm not sure. But you've had to submit something to them as well if you made income. Because if you, as you stated before, if you made the income, it would be deducted from your check. And it wouldn't occur to like a couple months down the line. And then you would get less of a check. So it would mess up with your budget if you didn't make revenue. You know what I mean? These are things you said. Nobody can splice that together. It goes all the way down in your transcripts. So I say free Sally. Let her do what she wants to do. And you go on your merry way. Just a thought. Just a thought. I mean, if I remember correctly, your family would help you out and, you know, provide a place and take you in. Well, Jim could go right to New York, too. Just saying. I can tell you what. You guys get hotter there than we get here in the summer. You don't like the heat. You don't like the cold. You don't go outside. I have another question. Like, when you've done these car vlogs and such, how come you, you, or not car vlog, excuse me, when you've done these appointments and been out and about and doing things and, you know, why, why would you do no car vlogs or anything to show, hey, I am up, I am out, I am in the van, I am doing things. I, I don't know. But I'm trying to put my mind to rest. Um, so after I go in here, when I come out, I am just going to turn some music on and enjoy the ride home because um, I know after after walking in here and going to the back where the cat stuff is <laughs> I know I'm going to be hurting and I just I'll need some music just to soothe the mind but I'm going to do it anyways because I want my animals to be happy as well you know And it definitely was just a splendor. When I get home, I definitely have to add more ice. I like it filled with ice. But you guys know what? Until later, I'll be back. Because that's just how I am. Bye, Jerry. Bye, Jim. Sally, I'm Team Sally. And Sally makes her own mind up. Nobody can make her mind up for her. Nor could we influence her to want to sell her own house. Think about that. If Sally wanted to stay where she was... Nobody could convince Sally to sell her home. Think about that now. This is what Sally wants. Let Sally be happy. Toodles. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, fly my job is asking uh, Jerry. Fly my job? Or fly my kite. Sorry. Oh, looks like that's I an unusual the first name and a person I never heard of before. Um, but anyhow, they're asking, do you want, do you want me to get a job? Do I mark. want you to get a job? Yep. No. Jared, do you want I mean, not. Me? I want Jim to do whatever he feels comfortable with. I told him I would support him with every what he wants to do. Uh, um, 
I have recently just spoke to DSS a couple of days ago about getting a uh, home health aid back. Um, go ahead, baby. You can go by. It's not going to... You just step over it. Go ahead. Nope. What? Do you need a drink?